Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to create Ocean Swell using Maya 2011 and RealFlow 5. My name is Florian and I'm gonna guide you uh, through the steps that it takes. First, uh, you have to model a seabed or sea ground like the one you're seeing here. Um, this is because we need to have something that our water can flow along and you need to have you're seeing these these stitches there and stuff like that this is very important because um, this will create currents inside your fluid making the fluid motion more n look more natural all right um, so you can open the file start.mb from the companion DVD or just um, model something like this yourself. When modeling, pay attention that you do not um, do that you do not use a much higher resolution for the um, for the sea ground because the higher this is resoluted, the longer it will take to um, take for take real flow to simulate the fluid because um, yeah, more geometry uh, will lead to more calculations and more calculations will lead to the simulation to take more time. And um, I also modeled a pier. This is also not, not, very complex, not a very complex model. You see that this has a lot more detail and um, in just more resolution, more vertices. This is why I will be importing this into RealFlow in a different format. We'll be seeing that soon. First we need RealFlow 5. So let's start the software. Very important for all of you who are using uh, RealFlow versions um, that before 5. You will not be possible to make or to finish this tutorial. This is because we're using RealFlow's new hybrid solver, which is a system for um, simulating high, um, for simulating um, large bodies of water. Um, this is a grid solver, and this is uh, working differently than the um, RealFlow standard particle solver. So you cannot um, follow along the steps using RealFlow 4 or RealFlow 3 or whatever. You need to upgrade to RealFlow 5. Um, if you do not have RealFlow 5 installed in your machine, and um, then you can go to www.realflow.com and there you can download RealFlow 5 as a demo version as well as the RealFlow Renekit as a demo version. We'll be using the Renekit in the last part of this tutorial, when we will, um, when I will show you how to get the stuff from RealFlow into Maya, creating basic setup um, for rendering of fluid animation. So in RealFlow, we have to create a new project. You can name it whatever you like. Um, we call it Ocean Swells. Ocean Swells 01 just in case you want to have a different version and you can say Ocean Swells 2 It's very important when creating that project that um, on the hard disk where you're creating that you have at least 200 gigabytes free. Yes, 200 gigabytes sounds crazy but um, fluid simulation is always eating up big amounts of memory on your hard disk. And um, the large scale fluid simulation will eat up even more because we need a highly resoluted or medium resoluted voxel grid and um, as you know, probably know from, from Maya fluids if you have been playing with that or playing with uh, fluid dynamics in any other application where it takes grids with a certain amount of resolution there are lots of values sampled over the grid points and this is really eating up lots of memory you cannot do anything about it, but for example, buy a hard disk for doing so. If you happen not to um, have this big amount of memory, you can still try to do, um, to make the same 
simulation as we're doing but with a lower res resolution I'll be getting back to this point when it comes up another thing um, your computer the computer I was working this tutorial I was working for um, on for this tutorial is my home computer it's a Intel Core 2 quad CPU Q6600 um, at 2.4 gigahertz with 8 gigabytes of RAM so this is not the latest machine at all but um, I think that you might have a similar machine at home or maybe a better machine so um, if you have a machine that is far beyond those specs probably there could be some some glitches when you're trying to um, follow along the tutorial or and the simulation could times could really explode so pay attention to what you're doing okay we're creating a new project project name ocean smells 01 and then we say create new project fine so we've got an empty project and we can switch back to Maya um, in Maya we want to export the sea ground as well as the pier into a real flow how are we supposed to do that well we need to use the real flow plugin this is here in the in the shelves there's a real flow shelf and there are some funny icons if you cannot see a real flow shelf in your version of Maya or if you cannot see um, then pro this is probably not installed when you're downloading a copy of RealFlow from www.realflow.com um, then you have access to the RealFlow plugin you can install this for Maya or whatever 3D animation software you like you can follow along the tutorial um, using virtually any 3D animation software because most of the time we'll be using RealFlow and um, there's just some small um, small parts in Maya or different software um, and you will be exporting or importing stuff from and to RealFlow in virtually a similar manner okay to make sure the plugin is loaded go to Windows settings preferences plugin manager and make sure that is this is looking like this here RealFlow.mll this is the RealFlow plugin and this has to be loaded in case you want to auto load this every time you're starting Maya also hook auto load the real flow render kit is also something that you can install right now or later we'll be getting back to this one but main thing is real flow dot MLL has to be loaded and um, in order to see these files 